I have this little bit of paper left from the Echo Park Summer Adventure Pad. So let's finish it off with some cards today. Hey guys, it's Beth. Welcome. So at the beginning of January, I had been working on trying to finish up my 2017 photos, getting them scrapbooked. That was a 2023 goal, which kind of carried over to this month a little bit. And I pulled out the summer adventure pad to do a bunch of scrapbook pages with. So I will share these with you at the end, but I do have a stack of scrapbook pages left. And then for the Kendra's card challenge design team, I did use some of the scraps and cut apart to make a couple of cards um, using sketch number 15, I think. So I will link that video down below and in the cards are here at the end of the video. But with this little bit of that's left, I have two full sheets, two mostly full sheets of this fishing paper and then some other scraps. And then this pad, this pad came in one of the Echo Park warehouse boxes. And the very last sheet was just this white paper. I, I don't know if that's why it ended up in the warehouse box because maybe this was a misprint. I don't know why they would include one white sheet of paper. But they did and so i have that left and i thought that can be used for some matting on some of the cards i have some cut aparts and there are some bits and pieces that i either fussy cut from some larger cut aparts or there's some i think i made this tag from a larger cut apart as well with a lantern and then there's some fishing ephemera that i had used i believe i think it was from a different summer collection by echo park but i had used it with the pages that i had made and so there were some related to fishing that we don't fish and so i wouldn't use them on any of my scrapbook pages so i thought i'd try and tie them into some of the fishing paper for cards i'm hoping to be able to use these for cards for cubs which is coming up here in the spring and so these are kind of all the the cards will be geared towards kids but i have several like of the scenic cut aparts that i thought would work so hopefully i can use those i did go through all of my sketches and pull out some that i thought would work with cut aparts and maybe some of the bigger scraps so I will be utilizing sketches for most of the cards. And that's all I know at this point. So I am going to kind of figure out a better game plan here and then we will finish off this paper and see how many cards we can get. <laughs>
we are fading Want something more if you would just stay here for a while Just look in my eyes There's more to us than we can show And I think you know We can turn off every filter So let's just shut off the feet Just let us be
here's a final look at the 20 cards I made with you guys today. Some of them, I guess, were kind of simple, but there was a lot of pattern going on. I did end up going back and adding to some of the more, more plainer ones, I guess. Uh, you saw me punch out some stars at the end, and I did go back and add those in in some places, but most of them I felt... Even though the cards were simple, there was just, like I said, a lot of pattern. So they were still bright and fun. And I didn't show it, but I did add scraps on the insides of all of the cards. So 20 cards today. Here were two that I made for Kendra's Card Challenge, 13. And then I made about 16 scrapbook pages with this pad as well. There weren't any embellishments that went with the pad, so I pulled in embellishments from my stash, but these were all, some of them are single page layouts and some are double. And again, I have multiple layouts for myself and my daughters. So we just had several camping events in 2017. I had a lot of photos for some of them, so I ended up pulling in some pocket pages as well. Kind of a combination of pattern paper backgrounds, some cardstock backgrounds, kind of a mix of titles. There's another pocket page. So it was a good way to use up that pad. It's been in my stash for a while, like I said, from one of the warehouse boxes. So I was glad to finally put it to use. So at 22 cards, 16 scrapbook pages. I do have a few cut aparts left that I will keep in my camping stash. They were ones that just really didn't fit for cards and they were too big or just didn't fit with the layouts that I did. So I will save those and see if I can't use them later. But the summer adventure pad is smashed. So hope you guys enjoyed. I will link the card sketches in the description box below for you if you st still um, are interested in finding those. But I thank you all very much for your time and hope you all have a very crafty day.